everyone and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting a brother by the name of Dr. Juan E. Gilbert. And Dr. Juan E. Gilbert is an African-American computer scientist, researcher, inventor, and educator. Uh, he's a staunch advocate of diversity in the computing sciences and his successful efforts to increase the number of underrepresented minorities in the computing disciplines computer disciplines has been recognized by uh, professional engineering organizations as even as well as even the United States government his uh, research in um, computer science has uh, centered on uh, various uh, different uh, uh, topics uh, such as human centered computing electronic voting uh, learning technologies spoken language systems multi-model interfaces, databases, da data analytics, and uh, many, other, um, uh, many other areas and fields in the computer science world. Now, in honor of both his accomplishments and his uh, service to uh, uh, Clemson University, he was awarded the first presidential endowed chair um, at Clemson University on November 9th, uh, 2012. And as a result of his efforts uh, with trying to get more um, uh, uh, diversity in the computing sciences, um, Clemson was home to 10% of the African-American computer science professors and 10% of the African-American computer science doctoral students in, in the United States. In 2014, he left Clemson and joined the Computer and Information Science and Engineering Department at the University of Florida where he uh, serves as the Andrew Banks Family Pre Preeminence Endowed Chair and the Chair of the Department. He's the first African-American Chair of the Department of Computer and Information Science and Engineering at the University of Florida. He's um, educated, as we know, obviously he's got his doctorate. He received his uh, bachelor's from Miami University um, in Systems Analysis in 1991, his Master's of Science at the University of Cincinnati, um, in computer science in 1995, and his PhD at the University of Cincinnati um, in computer science in 2000. His dissertation was uh, author, an intelligent tutoring system with adaptive instruction. So um, that's where he was at that time with his computer science uh, and knowledge when he was getting his doctorate. Uh, he's, had, he's held several university positions at, um, from 2000 to 2009. He was at Auburn University starting as an assistant professor and then working his way up to professor. From 2009-2014, he was the uh, Presidential Endowed uh, Professor and Chair at Clemson University. And uh, also during that time, uh, from 2014 and 20 to 2015, he was the Andrew Banks Family Preeminence Endowed Chair and uh, Department Chair at the University of Florida. And he's held several other leadership positions um, in companies that he's uh, started He's a president and chief technology technolo uh, technology officer um, at Applications Quest, a uh, company of his, as well as the technical advisor to Everyone Counts Incorporated. And he's also acted as a consultant for the American Association for the Advancement of Science. So he has uh, definitely, um, you know, uh, uh, worked in a lot of different uh, fields, not just in the computer science wor world, but even in education, and as we say, whenever um, you know a black man or a black woman works in education in fields where there aren't a lot of African Americans, who knows how many lives or minds they can they can touch and influence um, positively to get into the field of computer science or in the sciences, technology, engineering, and math field. So we can imagine how many um, people he's influenced positively. And that's what we like to highlight here on Everyday Black History. He's been honored and awarded um, many times from many different well-known and respected organizations uh, for his work in uh, computer science. And as we mentioned, in, in trying to get more diversity and inclusion in the field. So Dr. Juan E. Gilbert, we thank you for your contribution to black history and black culture. And we salute you for it. That concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Um, as we mentioned, please continue to support. Um, we're on, you know, um, the podcast. We have a podcast that's available on Spotify and iTunes and pretty much anywhere where you can listen to podcasts. You just type in Everyday Black History and you'll find us. 
for also social media, Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter. Um, uh, we're, on, we're on all the socials, Everyday Black History. So thanks for the support, and please continue um, uh, to tune in and stay tuned for the next episode.